Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Mifos. I'm your host, Christoph, and I hope that you're all doing fine. How is everyone? Sazen, welcome in. Good evening, how are you doing? Hey, Dark Chasey, hello. Hang on, God ads. Yes! Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, that is one of the... Um, New new perks or things that have has changed on the stream is that I do have ads now. Um, quickly gonna turn my music down here a bit. New perks, yes, unfortunately. <laughs> no, not unfortunately. Guys, how are you doing? Um, first of all, as you might have noticed coming in. It's good news! We... Okay. And, and what is your question? <laughs> Normally you should have gotten like... You have to... Type something while you do uh, ask me anything and then uh, it actually reads it. So... No matter. No. But we are... Affiliate with Twitch since last week, since Christmas. Thanks to every one of you. Thank all of you for supporting me throughout this year. Um, making this possible. I thought it was a thingy for a mic, not ask me anything. Helly, welcome in. <laughs> Thank you for being my second ever subscriber. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, <laughs> and we've got our first hype train. Invisible, hello, welcome in. So yeah, we are Twitch affiliates now. That has opened up a lot of new perks, a lot of new options for the stream as you are already exploring all of them. Uh, you'll notice we have channel points now. Uh, I took them in the form of brushes. You can click on um, the redemption button to see what you can redeem with them. Um, just knock yourself out. I'll be coming back to the fact that we're Twitch affiliates later. But first, I'm gonna do a... Yes. Okay. I'll have to stretch. Ugh. Oh, actually my back cracked, which is pretty good. Like... Ugh. Yeah, nice. Dark Jay-Z, welcome in. And focus. Yeah, I, I am. Oh no, the focus is actually for um, the button. Um, if, if my um, miniature would be out of focus, you can actually tell me to focus. More focus. Well, this is as focused as I am. So, Dark Jay-Z, thank you for supporting as well. This is a good feeling, you know? I <laughs> just... Coming online and people start throwing money at you. <laughs> Hydrate. I even came prepared and got myself a glass of cool water. Ah, water. That could be in an ad somewhere. An ad for water. Yeah, water has ads. Make it rain. Uh, you should drink your paint water like a real painter. Yes. That will happen, definitely. Also, I should... Yes, okay, so um, I'm gonna have to limit that because people are already abusing the hydrate button. I thought, well, I shouldn't limit that because these people are all adults. And you've proven me wrong. Add a button for a pee break. I might do that. <laughs> adults. No. So yeah, we're gonna be talking in this stream. We're not gonna be painting miniatures. I'm sorry if you came here for the miniatures. I'm glad that you came for the miniatures, but I'm sorry to disappoint you because we're going to go back to 2023 and what happened in this year for me, to us, to the channel and all that. So, um, and then we're gonna be talking about where I am right now, or you know, the stream is. Turnip Trower, welcome in. Thank you for joining. Welcome in. 
Um, and then, by the end of the stream, I'm going to cast a look upon 2024 and tell you what I'm up to in the next year. So, first of all, 2023 was a huge year for me. Like, first of all, this was the first year that I got my own house, which was a big deal. Like, I have a lot of friends, I am doing great at my job, everything is great. But something else happened, and that is I started streaming. I've always... <laughs> adulthood, yay! <laughs> Real life goals, happy! Um, I've always liked YouTubers, reaction content, streamers, to a certain degree. Like, not the typical gaming streams, most of the time that doesn't really concern me or interest me, but video essays, people who review stuff, who analyze stuff, who explain movies, who give you like little tidbits of lore, I've always loved that for as long as they've been around, basically. And I've always had like a huge admiration for those people because they seem to know a lot about what they're doing. Now, I follow this YouTuber called Simon Whistler. He does biographics, geographics, uh, and all other stuff. And he says that he gets that comment a lot from his viewers. Like, man, you must know a lot. Well, no, he has good writers. And I think that's funny because now that I'm actually doing this, this is the same thing. Like, I know a lot, but it's, it's mostly good writing and it's fun. Anyway. It's, it's always been like an inspiration for me to get into streaming or make content in a way and I always thought, nah, I will never be able to do that. But when my friends started experimenting with streaming, I was really hyped because, hey, if they can do it, why not me? So, yeah. And, and it started to, to come to me like, yeah, maybe I should actually... Maybe I should actually try that. And, and I've been talking it, it over with my friends, like, should I do it? What should I do? Will I be able to be good enough? And they're like, fuck it if you're good enough, just do it for the fun. I'm like, yes. One of these friends is definitely Dark Chasey, who from all those friends that I mentioned, is the only one who is still at it. He, <laughs> probably Beardo. <laughs> Yes, also Beardo, but Dark Chasey is the only one of that group of friends who started experimenting that hasn't stopped. He is the one who kept going. He, he He's still at it. So, uh, every week he's still there, I'm his mod, and he was a huge inspiration for me to actually get into streaming myself. So, while talking it over with my friends uh, and, and, and my partner, I was like, yeah, should I do this? Should I, shouldn't I do it? Do I have, like, the gear for it? I don't have the gear for it, that's eh, a bit of money. But, my birthday was in April. Well, it's always in April. <laughs> was in April this year. It's in April every year. Partner. Thank you, Custard Sire. Honey. Um... And they got me this microphone and this document um, yeah, camera. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Um, which was everything that I needed to actually start painting miniatures like this. Because that's what I wanted to do. I, wanted, I didn't want to play games. I didn't want to just make lore videos. I wanted to talk about stuff that I love while doing what I love. And hope that people like seeing it which is painting miniatures. And I was all like, okay, let's do it for the lulls. And the fact that I have a huge bag of plastic crap lying here that I have never painted. And I was like, this could be a reason for me to actually get through my backlog. If I have to paint every week, I might get through this. And I did. I... well, no, because I started printing more stuff that I was painting, so there is still plastic crap. My pile of shame is not as big as before, it's, it's still there, but... Yes, I noticed that you've uh, found my uh, frog emotes. Uh, those... 
Why frogs for the emotes? Because custard sire is my little frogo. There, she knows it. She knows that I did that specifically for her. So, uh, <laughs> yes, she likes frogs. I saw these frogs and I said, well, I'm going to throw them into like a, um, a Photoshop program. I'm going to size them down, make them, make them the right size for the stream. And, you know, if it's, if it's a placeholder or if it's permanent, I don't know yet, but right now it's frogos. Because it's also thanks to her that she organized my friends to come together and get me this beautiful equipment to start this. So again, thank you for everyone who got me started this year and who got me to this point. Because it's been amazing and I've had so much fun painting this and painting this, doing this, painting these miniatures. Yeah, I'm pointing downwards because they're standing here. I've had so much fun painting these miniatures and talking to you guys. And yeah, it's mind blown. And I'm just gonna show off like, like this first dwarf was the first miniature that I painted on stream together with his uh, Slayer buddy. And it's, it feels like so long ago, it's it's more than half a year ago, I, I know, but it's, it's like the thing that I was so nervous to get online and start painting these guys, it's... But I painted those, uh, then, then I got like the, the warrior priest. I, I had a lot of fun talking about that because they're both Warhammer really love Warhammer lore. I, I was first thinking maybe I should only do Warhammer, um, but then, yeah, no, no, I'm gonna do more things. And then I did like the Cyberpunk series with, with like, um, yeah, you know, the, the big cyborg dude from uh, Cyberpunk 2077. And then, you know, Mephos, like my Cthulhu, really love this guy he's standing on my shelf right right where i can see him well you can but i can you might be able to see him later well i'll get back to that um my my, my dark angels like it's it's funny to go through like every miniature that i've painted this last year and if i look at them i'm, I'm just like my diablo and tyrael I'm, I'm just so proud of these <laughs> like, I really love talking with you guys about this because it's it's not only me painting and you guys saying hey that's nicely painted it's also the fact that I have I have someone to talk to no but you know sharing love for Diablo for Call of Cthulhu for Warhammer stuff like that is what really makes this fun and this is what I wanted to do actually is is talking about dinosaur people in Warhammer and then going on a tangent that's only about Jurassic Park and then talk about a million other things that's not related to what I'm painting at that moment. It's Lord of the Rings. Yeah, because you're awesome too. That's the whole thing. You guys are really awesome. You know just as much about stuff, <laughs> stuff, than I do. And that's the reason why I love doing this, just to share everything. And then we were going on tangents about Lord of the Rings and we had like in a half of a stream going over Dino boobs. That was a really good conversation. Like reptilian boobies. How do they work? Reptilian mammary glands. And we went on tangents and about Lord of the Rings, for example. And then I painted Lord of the Rings stuff. And then we barely talked about Lord of the Rings. And we talked about other shit. And I was like, okay, sure, let's go. It's been amazing. Vampires, yes. Got the little one right here. It's been pretty recently that we talked about vampires. So it's it's crazy to think that how fast the time flew by while doing all these. Like 
with the Sengoku Big Skeleton Warriors and only recently like finishing Garrosh like really like this one he came out perfect like love it and yeah guys I must say I didn't expect to be a Twitch affiliate this this soon actually Garish can't do nothing wrong which one are you the most proud of um hmm, that's actually a really good question I really like from a technical standpoint the first one I ever done for the stream which is this dwarf because I think I uh, said that um, last Saturday on the extra stream because technically it's a really hard one to do the non-metallic metal and I'm really proud on how this one turned out like if you see it on pictures like I'm not gonna turn on that camera uh, for this stream but if you see this one on pictures or in the close-up camera the technical detail on this one is just one of the best things I've ever done for just getting it to look like metal without using metallic paints but the ones that I really like the best is my power couple right here my Tyrael and Diablo I why am I always pointing here like these two are an amazing pair to just put on uh, my shelf as well it they, they just look amazing I had a lot of fun painting these as well um, this is the only time I've actually spent three streams on one subject it was it was when I was painting Diablo and Tyrael because I wanted really wanted to finish these on stream and yeah and then I think close seconds uh, it's probably gonna be these guys like I really like how how the the lizardman and and Garrosh turned out. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's now. That said, it all led me here to being a Twitch affiliate. Um, I've I've told some of you guys the story already. I've put it on Instagram. But for those of you who don't know yet, uh, quick recap: uh, last weekend. Um, I think on Saturday uh, I was recording some stuff for uh, the YouTube channel and uh, I suddenly got this notification from Twitch saying hey um, you just got this or that achievement and I went to look and it was the achievement for hitting 50 followers so apparently someone just stumbled upon the account or found the Instagram came here and was the 50th follower big thanks to that person I, I don't really know who it is anymore but big thanks and I looked at my progress to being an affiliate and the only thing I still had to do was one stream I had to stream on seven different days in a period of 30 days and I was at six out of seven so last Saturday I was like let's go I did this impromptu how to paint your miniatures tutorial um, I had fun doing that. I think I'm gonna do that in, in, in the future as well. Prep it a bit better and then actually get like tutorials going, announce it some more so if people really want to paint along they can. And yeah, the next day on the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, I was uh, at my family's place celebrating Christmas Eve and I got the message from Twitch saying, congratulations, you are now eligible for the Twitch Affiliates program. And I was like, awesome. After celebrating, when I got home on the 26th, eventually, um, I immediately started, you know, putting everything in order. So you'll notice there is some differences with the stream like again you have the channel points which are the brushes if you collect enough brushes you can redeem them for a various amount of things like you can make me drink you can make me uh like sit up straight because i notice that my back is aching when i'm bent over you know what i mean bent over like that for two hours 
Um, you can even make me change the way I have to say my lore if you spend enough points by making me sing for a couple minutes or by making me uh, avoid a certain word while talking about stuff. So, yeah, this could get interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to... Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to see what you guys are gonna do with it. I hope you have fun with it. Uh, another thing, another big thing, uh, is there are yeah, options for monetization right now. Um, which means that the stream gets supported. If you sub, if you watch the ads, if you buy bits and stuff, I'm definitely saving up to make you sing. I know everyone will do it. But I was smart and I've limited that one to one per stream because I'm not gonna be, you know, going through my streams, not having to sin, sing and then just everyone in a train makes me sing for an entire two hours straight. <laughs> like, no! <laughs> um, yeah, but you can actually, with the points, influence how I paint a model, how I talk, uh, do stuff. Uh, yeah, I know, I, I know a couple of you guys, so... Like, I don't mind it if you actually make me drink, like, ten bottles of water by just keeping me hydrated. Uh, I do mind it if I have to sing for two hours, so... Um, could be a good subscriber. <laughs> yes, of course. Custard Sire, um, I think you'll have to put the bottle of water uh, upstairs because uh, if people get me drinking... If once I start drinking... Hmm. <laughs> no, but... Um, yeah, if you watch the ads, if you want to support, you can spend bits, you can buy uh, a subscription. Buy a subscription. Uh, you can subscribe. Is there a limit on the hydrates per stream? Local streamer drowns. I, I don't think there is actually a limit. I should check. I could limit it, but I'm probably not gonna. I, I might just put like a timer down like... Um, you can only redeem it once every five minutes or something. Beardo, welcome in! Thank you for subscribing! Hey, thanks a lot! Yeah, um, and like I was just saying, um, if you have a Prime uh, subscription, like if you have Amazon Prime, if you uh, watch uh, Prime Video, stuff like that, you, <laughs> thank you, Beardo. <laughs> I was just <laughs> explaining it. You can actually give like one free subscription to a streamer of your choice. So, doesn't even cost you any money. Well, aside from having to pay Prime. If you want to support the show, everything goes to keeping this afloat and making it better in the long run. So, it would be really appreciated to do that. Um, I still had to hydrate for a uh, season, sorry. <laughs> or, or I did it already, I don't even know anymore. Beardo, how are you doing? Welcome in. Did I say hi to everybody already? Captain Balcom, okay. <laughs> playing, oh yeah, 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 you're playing Forever Skies. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Thank you so much. God damn, this is proving to be a great start, a, a great end of the year. Um, again, this is something I can't be thankful enough for. Like, most of you have supported me before I started streaming, you've supported me while I was streaming, in between, with my ideas, with just your support by being there, um, in the chat or not. I mean, I know some of you couldn't be there. Uh, all the time because some of you were like literally on the other end of the planet and with like time zones it didn't work out um, You know who you are uh, <laughs> But everything has led up to this and it's <laughs> Okay, you, you, you didn't literally have to say it was you <laughs> But yes, it was you um, But yeah, it's it's 
like I said, I, I never thought that I would get to this point so quickly. Um, and I can't thank you guys enough for it. Like, you've made it possible for me to do this, and then to actually help me get even further than just getting started. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I, you're wonderful people. I love every single one of you, and now, we love you. That love will quickly turn sour when you make me sing a bit too much. No, I'm looking paint forward. Already. No, I'm not gonna paint. I told you, I'm not gonna paint. This stream, it's. It's also not going to be a full uh, two hours. Just heads up. We'll make you sing. <laughs> Paint already! If you're not careful, I'm going to start charging bits for those noises. Like, And then every time you say paint already, you're actually paying me. Like... I don't know, like, like, one cent or something. Which will soften the blow of having me, of me having to hear that the entire time. <laughs> He's already threatening. Yes, yes, yes. You all give me money and I, uh, I am corrupted. The once per minute limit is enough to contain me. Daddy Mifos is hydrated and angry. <laughs> okay. This this is turning this is turning violent real quickly. Um, <laughs> no, um, but we're gonna cast a look ahead. Um, what's gonna bring? What's what's gonna bring? What is 2024 going to bring for miniature Mifos? More minis, more Mifos, more Kristoff, more. Just more of the same, and maybe some different things. Like, I had an experiment going um, a couple weeks back, or a couple months back right now, with uh, having a guest over. We are just playing with the new things. Go ahead. Just play around. This is your... This is your playground. Come try ya. Everything is better. Come try ya. I will at one point do a Stargate. Uh, stream as well because I love Stargate. I have models for Stargate uh, stuff, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna be talking about Stargate. Uh, and I might have Beardo over as a guest then. Yeah, that wow, that sounded threatening as well. I'm on a roll with threatening. Yeah, power corrupts. I love it. I feel good in this uh, in this position. <laughs> no, um. If you take a look at my socials, uh, if you're on the Discord, I will post schedules of what's coming. Um, I have Dungeons and Dragons prepped, I've got Warhammer 40k prepped, um, I've got mm, Dead Space prepped. So I've got a couple things going that are already... <laughs> it's not working, JC. I'll help you out. This is really weird. Be no, last time you were able to do it. And now I can't do it, so... yeah. Okay, trust us. Normally, if you go below the stream, you might find the link to the Discord there as well. So... Apparently, the Discord thing doesn't work at the moment. Just scroll down and uh, it, it'll figure itself out. But I'll post uh, my schedules ahead of time. You'll notice that the next thing we're gonna do is Frost Giants from the D&D universe. Uh, I'll be talking about that lore. Uh, after that is gonna be Warhammer 40k with the Necrons. And uh, after that, still a surprise, wait for the announcement next week. In the Next week, I will do the announcement for the week after, so you'll get to see what I'm planning to do then. But yeah, I'm going to be doing more miniatures, I um, might do some more tutorials, I might stream some more on different days, because I have other projects that I'm working on. Um, some of you might know that I also have a YouTube channel that is 
also taking off like a rocket. Um, some of you might know from uh, the socials, um, and uh, because I've talked about it, that I've, like last month, the, I think it was the 27th of November, so exactly a month ago, no, not exactly a month ago, but um, one month ago, I reached 100 subscribers on YouTube with my readings of Weird Fiction and the recordings of these streams. And uh, I just checked and I'm... One month later, I am at 180 subscribers. So this is blowing up and I am planning to do a lot of things with the YouTube concerning these minis, concerning talking about lore. So yeah, I've already got loads of scripts written for lore videos. They're gonna be like video essays uh, where I'm going to uh, be showing off miniatures concerning to that lore, so I will be painting even more in the future. Um, I'm just gonna quickly get like a list of the things that I've already prepped. If you would be so kind to wait for a second. So, um... If you guys are interested, some of the first videos will be about the history of the Empire in Warhammer. I've talked about that while I was painting this guy, but it will be more, you know, condensed, streamlined and focused in a video format. I'm also, you know, going to be seeing more of this room because I'm going to change the scenery around just for those videos. Um, the Haunting of the Tower of London. Uh, the Enigma of the Mothman, uh, one of the more weird cryptids that's out there. Ghost Ships, Ghost Ships of the Seven Seas is going to be one of the lore videos. The Lore of the Banshee in Irish folklore. Looking forward to that because Banshees are really cool. Um, like going back to literature, I'm going to be discussing uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde the legacy of that and like the analysis of the duality of things. Um, the Witcher is gonna come over, he's not gonna come over but is gonna pass by. I'm gonna be painting mini uh, Witcher miniatures and talking about the general setting of the Witcher. Uh, Dead Space, the fall of the Ishimura, everything leading up to the first game and beyond what happens to the ship why is it in the state that it is when uh, Isaac Clarke gets aboard in the first game? Um, we're gonna be revis re revisiting, revisiting Cthulhu um, with his cults, the myth surrounding it. There's a ship. Yes, the. No, it's it's a spaceship. It's a planet cracker. The USG Ishimura. Largest planet cracker in her class. <laughs> um, so yeah, the Mephos of Cthulhu. Um, don't call him a cracker for asking questions. <laughs> I'm too white to be calling anyone a cracker, so... I'm sorry, that was horrible. Um, and eventually, eventually, in the end, uh, a lore video on Elminster... Omar, the Sage of Shadowdale, which is a very interesting character in the Dungeons and Dragons lore. FBI, yeah, there, there we go. Thank you. So, um, yeah, I've got 10 scripts ready to be filmed, ready to be edited, and I am just making the final preparations and somewhere in the first months of 2024 I'll be starting with them and uploading them to YouTube so definitely keep an eye out for that and you'll probably see me painting way more because yeah I need miniatures to support those videos um, it's gonna be great I've been looking all over to find miniatures that are related to the subjects of the scripts that I'm writing. Uh, most of these things I've already talked about on stream as well, so they will be definitely be revisited. But rest assured, the streams will be, you know, 
their own thing. I will still come online every week, I will still paint miniatures, and um, it'll be great. We'll, you'll see stuff here that you won't see in the videos, and vice versa, so just putting that out there. And of course, I'll continue with um, the readings of the weird fiction that I told you about. Um, I have uh, plans. I, I think I told you guys that um, last Saturday, so for those who weren't there because it wasn't a regular stream, um, I'm, I still have a couple of HP Lovecraft stories left uh, that will be uh, um, uploaded very soon. And uh, I have plans uh, to get into Edgar Allan Poe as the next writer. So, um, I will be doing, if you have seen the Netflix series The Fall of the House of Usher, you'll know that each of those episodes is based on a short story by Poe. If you didn't know that, well, surprise, that's how they're, um, how it's formed. I will be going over each story that each episode is based off in order. So, the first one, of course, is The Fall of the House of Usher. Then uh, the Mask of the Red Death, then the Murder at Rue Morgue, etc., etc., etc. The same as the um, basically, if if you look at the episode names, those episode names are titles from Edgar Allan Poe's novels. So, and um, yeah, you'll definitely, if you hear those, if you read those stories, and you watch the episodes, you will definitely see like, oh, that's why that happened. Or that's why and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, you might have noticed that I've uh, said that um, I'm going to be talking about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in one of the lore videos. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing a reading of uh, Stevenson's Jekyll and Hyde. So there you go. Isn't that the series we stopped watching after like two episodes? Could be! <laughs> like... We, um, we haven't seen the entire uh, series either, but that's just because we don't have the time for that. So uh, I know what it's all about, um, because yeah, I have knowledge of the post stories. So just by looking at the, the names of the episodes and seeing the first three episodes, I can do deduce basically everything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, a lot of plans, a lot of exciting stuff going forward. I am, I am hyped. I really am hyped. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any ideas for me, if you have remarks, please let me know. Uh, I am ever so grateful for everything that you do. Feedback, following, liking, looking at stuff, just chatting, just joining and lurking, listening to my voice or watching the miniatures get painted. Whatever it is you do, I am really thankful for it. And I, it, it gives me energy to know that we can finish this year, this first year that was like a tryout and I didn't really know if this was what I wanted to do and, and then validate everything to get like a, a running start in 2024. I'm looking forward to it because this is gonna be even more amazing than it already was. And that is thanks to each and every one of you. Again, thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you. Now, I'm opening up the floor. So if you guys have any remarks, if you have some more questions for me, shoot and i'm gonna i'm gonna be answering them honestly of course uh, you don't have to spend the ask me anything <laughs> like right now it's it's free pew pew um but yeah if there's stuff that you want to see if there's stuff that you still want to say or do now's the time um yeah like I've been thinking about uh, painting more of the miniatures than I already have. So um, I have, like, a, like I said, <laughs> starts to clap. <laughs> 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 
Thank you. Thank you. Um, so my pile of shame is still pretty big. I am definitely going to go back to them. Um, so expect way more Warhammer, um, both fantasy 40k because I have that in spades. Um, I also have like a lot of stuff from Call of Cthulhu. So expect a lot of Elder Gods, Deep Ones, stuff like that. Of course, they'll be tied into the readings of, if I'm going to be painting Deep Ones, it's going to be tied into the readings of the Shadow of Rinsmuth, stuff like that. And probably an analysis of the Rinsmuth stuff. Um, yeah, it's like this huge interconnected thing that I'm, I want to do and I'm hyped. Really, you guys make this possible. Sounds like a weather forecast. Expect, expect a lot of old ones, a downpour of old ones. This meteor shower is really hitting the east coast. And then I'm, I mean, hitting it with its fist, its huge eldritch fist. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, that was stupid. <laughs> no. Um, guys, if you're all sated, if you're all excited I'm happy um, because yeah you make you guys you get me excited <laughs> now you got me excited for doing this for loving my hobby again because at a certain point I was I was like really thinking like okay but why am I doing this am I doing this for me yeah I'm doing this for me and I'm doing this for you. And I'm doing this because I want to. And I love it. And and I knew I loved it all along. And But you guys made me realize that again. So again, thank you so much. And I hope to see you guys every single day in 2024. <laughs> no, I hope you, to be able to provide you guys entertainment in 2024 as well um, and yeah you mm. <laughs> so yeah if you like the show if you want to see where it goes just stay tuned keep an eye out uh, for the notifications that I'm live um, and and I just want to Keep this going, man. See where it takes us. Like someone who has invested in a very dumb crypto coin once said, to the moon. <laughs> also, if you know that reference, congratulations, you probably invested in that crypto. <laughs> Guys, this was me for tonight. Um, I'm gonna be turning in now. Have a wonderful end of 2023. <laughs> Christoph Crypto Coin and the Mifos Coin. Uh, terminally online folks, I salute thee. Yeah, that, that's also true. Um, guys, I wish you the best um, for the end of 2023. Make whatever it is you have to do to end this year on a bang, just do it. Have fun, go out, meet people, love yourself. 2023 has been good, and we're gonna make 2024 better. So wherever you are, when the clock strikes midnight on the 31st, just will make 2024 even better. And I wish every single one of you the best start there is for the next year. So guys, this is me signing off. I'll see you in the next year. And again, thank you so much for everything. Good night. <laughs>